Hey, minis! My name is Nautical Nathan, and welcome back to Dead Secret, where we're investigating a murder. So, last time, oh gosh, I tell you what. There was a page. Okay, things are going, and I'm not touching things, and I don't like that. There was a page trapped in the back. Okay, so I accidentally clicked it to click into the game, and then it got this on me. Okay, so we're gonna figure out what this is real quick. Okay. So yeah, as you remember, we're investigating a murder. This is like a place in the middle of nowhere. Four suspects, five possible endings. We're gonna see what's happening. We're on the path. Josie, if you're reading this, then something must have happened to me or I may be dead. I may be dead or missing. If so, the only person you can save is our research. Oh, I can hear things in the background. I don't like it. The truth is that I'm being threatened. It started before I left the college. I get notes every few months from somebody calling himself woodcutter. What he wants is access to our research. He wants me to turn over our plans for the Lunar Dream Apparatus. Josie, my life is in danger. Was Josie the assistant, the girl? Um, my life is in danger. Woodcutter knows things, secret things about my past that no one should know. I'll tell... I'll not... Blah, 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 blah. I'll not yield to simple blackmail, but lately... The threats have escalated. I am sure that I'm being watched at the house. Sometimes I hear things on the other side of the wall. Yesterday, with the mask on, I thought I saw someone reaching for me. It's a warning from my subconscious. I am no longer safe here. Why didn't you leave? I would have to be here right now. I've looked. Uh, I've locked our research away in the safe upstairs. No! I want you to retrieve it and leave. Destroy everything before you go. Burn the house down if you have to. Just get the research and get out of here. Head for the big city where it's easy to hide. I'm counting on you, Joe. Don't let our work fall into into their hands. Okay, so it could be his colleague, which has a reason to want the research if it's something pretty big like he was talking. A dream apparatus? I don't know. Lunar dream apparatus. Or his ex-wife. But the ex-wife makes more money if he dies, not about the research. So the colleague seems kind of smart here. Eris Buller, blackmailed by Woodcutter. Primary suspect, obviously. Ordered by Bullard to destroy their research and split. I knew there was more to the story. Whatever Bullard was mixed up in, I bet there's more evidence in that safe. Oh, don't, don't. Who is Woodcutter? Open the safe upstairs. Oh, I knew that was... You ever just not want to turn around because you know something's going to be standing there? Ah! Oh, okay. Uh, is this upstairs? Can nowhere be upstairs? door locked from the other side. Ugh. Okay, so we do have to go to that one room out here again. No, go to the darn door. Oh, I'm not... I... My hunch was right. Bull Can you shut it? Ugh. Uh, Buller's death is definitely fishy. Better stop and review my notes. Okay. Ferris Bueller... Fer Harris Bullard's body was found by Bobby Sawyer. That's right. Bobby ran odd jobs for Bullard. Could he have done it? He certainly had the opportunity. Bullard was scared. He was worried about losing his research. That's it. Blackmail. I knew this would be the scoop. Somebody wanted Bullard's research. Must have been killed for it. Bullard was being blackmailed by Woodcutter. You know, he may be a really like good slash bad blackmailer but he also may be very helpful for people that have wood stoves just saying he didn't have to do this he didn't have to murder woodcutter what is that supposed to mean is this some kind of juicy t this is the kind of juicy detail i came here to find uh okay to sell the story i need some real evidence let's go check that safe upstairs ah mm. Do we have to? Mm. Oh. 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 Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Oh, I don't want left or right. Oh, I don't know. Oh, don't make me do left. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm so I don't want it. Oh gosh. Oh. Anything in here? I. Oh, thank God. Doesn't seem to be a lot in the wardrobe. Not much of interest. Oh, there's a note, though. There's a. Ch 
why is that mirror? There's conveniently placed mirrored. What do we have here? Dear Diary, today is an anniversary. It was five years ago today that I found Dad's name on an old research paper at the U of C. He had written it in 1933, eight years before I was born. I didn't know he had gone to college. I never really thought about his life. He was just a name on my birth certificate. Dad ran out on Mama after the war. He had gone off to fight and never came back. When he stopped writing, Mama thought he'd been killed. I remember her crying at the kitchen table. The war ended, life went on. Mama died without ever finding out what happened to him. I used to hate him. Hated the idea of him. Hated my mother a little bit too. I figured dad was a deadbeat who ditched mom because he didn't want a kid. But when I found his name in the library, something changed. I couldn't stop thinking about him. Deadbeat dads don't study physics, do they? What is he doing now? What does he look like? Is he married to somebody else? I traced him here to Kansas, but finding him is taking longer than I had expected. Came to Kansas to look for her father. Is it possible that he was her father? <gasps> He, sh she didn't like dad. Dad could have been, oh my gosh, there's so many stories, it's juicy. Uh, Hero says helicopter may win Vietnam War. Okay, uh, South Vietnam. A, a Medal of Honor winner from Kansas said today, the helicopter may win the war uh, in South Vietnam. Marine Majors Douglas Big Tom Thompson, 39 of Fortuna, won the nation's highest military award, award during World War II, manning a bazooka in Iwo Jima. Major Thompson is attached to the Marine Helicopter Squadron operating along the coast and northern border of South Vietnam. Thompson's father lives in which, Wichita, Wichita, duh, idiot, as a leatherneck. Thompson destroyed 16 Japanese strong points and killed 75 Japanese in Iwo Jima in 1945. He's the only Medal of Honor winner uh, currently serving in Vietnam. The most effective weapon the Viet Cong uses is terror. The big pipe-smoking Marine said, the most effective one against them is a helicopter. That'll do. I don't like to look in the mirrors. I really don't. Okay. So let's check this chest. There's a handprint. Interesting. a reporter on my desk, but I spend most of my time at the Standard making coffee for my editor. I'm tired of writing the gossip column. This story is my shot at the big leagues. Ah. When I prove that Bullard was murdered, all the big papers will come calling. I'll finally escape this backwater town. Oh, this okay. It. So she's the got motivation too. For. Okay. I always have to check to see. Something is holding the lid closed. There's a small dial mounted on the front. What? I didn't see. A, is that a small dial? Okay. Interesting. So we're gonna have to find whatever can unlock that. Anything of use here? How about there? No. Okay. I think we're good to go out and explore a little bit more. Unless it lets us go here, which it does. Okay. So what do we have? Ooh, another letter. Aha! I found something. Bobby, here's your latest chapter, all typed up. I think this story is, in is becoming very interesting, and I'm sure you can get it. Publi uh, get it published. Uh, I hope you don't mind, but I made a few extra ed edits and inserted a few details here and there. Looking forward to your next chapter. Oh, The Crystal Cave by Bobby Sawyer. So Bobby's a writer who put some edits in. Okay. So he's a fiction writer helping Bobby with his writing. Oh, so this was her room. Hello, Crow. You got something for me? You got any in? Get the deets. Anything good? No good. All right. I don't want to look in the mirror. I don't want to look in the mirror. I don't want to see something in the mirror, but I have to look. Ah! Oh, I got to put on the glasses, don't I? That's probably a good idea. Okay. Oh, praise the Lord, nothing was there. Okay. So is this Bobby's room? There's a lamp tilted over. Shut that door. Oh. Interesting. Why would that be smoking? Fireplace is full of logs. As if somebody was here or they were trying to get rid of something. Ooh, another book. Hello, book. Oh, it's a circular dial. Okay, so this is what we need to get into the other place. Yes, circular dial. Now give me that handprint. Bill told me to cover Bullard's death, but he's just looking for gossip about the young assistant. Ah. But I took it seriously. 
did the research, followed every lead, like a real journalist would. We haven't yet. We're off. working on that. I found something everybody else missed. A note, a half thought, scribbled in the margins of the coroner's draft report. What's it say? It read, hypothermia in summer. Interesting. Okay, so we have a dial. Looks like there's a safe over there. Someone knocked over this lamp. Someone was hastily running through this room. Is that anything worthwhile? Anything? No useful evidence. Boxes of clothes. Are we sure? Can never be too sure. Empty. To oh, so this would have been Bobby's room. Bobby's kind of already cleared out everything. Here's our safe. There's something on the... I, I need to go back. Okay. Anything? Ooh, there's another note. Harris Bullard, I'm Woodcutter, I know your secret. James Lowry sends his regards. This Woodcutter character is my prime sub suspect. I bet his blackmail scheme went south, so he killed Bullard. Okay. What do we have here? Torn up pieces of a photo. Um, yes. There, it's a puzzle! I love puzzles. Who doesn't love puzzles? Okay. There. And there, and that one looks like Idaho. There we go. It's an old photo of two men on the ship. Oh, wait, oh, it says something in the back. What's it say? It says something on the back. Where is it? Where'd it go? Is it here? Uh, pictures, blackmail notes, notes to Joe. Miscellaneous profile. It's gotta be this, right? Yes. Okay. Flip over. Stop. 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 Ah! Wait, that doesn't help. Ah! Oh! Go away! Go away! Go away! Oh, go away. <laughs> Is he st Oh, you're watching me. I don't like it. Oh, there's a note down there. Go away! How? Oh, what is that? Why is he watching me? Oh, I don't like it. I don't... Bullard's bed. Everything's boxed up. There's a note over there. I don't know if you realize... Oh, is he still there? Oh, he's... He's very much there. Do we know what that is? Is that his... There's a note! There's a freaking note! No, it's not. There's a note right there. Thank you. Okay. Uh, daily log. We d H. Bullard. We did a test run of uh, ideal focal lenses today. At first, we did not know how to interpret the results. But now I believe they're working better than anticipated. Instead of unfiltered stream of sensory information, what we are seeing is... is subconscious memory. The lenses distort in response to visual stimuli that the wearer has some knowledge of. Uh, they cannot see what my con they see what my conscious mind cannot. Josie proposed that we are really doing uh, is mining dreams. Dreams are, after all, a form of ideal uh, focus at a time the subconscious comes forward and shows the truth about what we might not otherwise recognize. What we are striving for is unrestricted access to dream thought. As a control mnemonic uh, the mass works pretty well. I could tell that Josie was dubious at first, but now she understands subconscious thought is potentially dangerous to the subject. Yes, it is. We will need a physical object to enable the mind to compartmentalize, providing the wearer with some degree of cognitive prevention. A permanent augmentation will require much larger apparatus. We will need some other kind of focused mnemonic to help the brain control the deluge of dream information it will receive. Something large, ubiquitous, the moon, perhaps. The lenses in this in this weird mass. Dream thought the moon. The room is like a tomb. The air is stable. I can barely breathe. Oh, but we know. Oh, we know. There's a safe, but it's locked. Find the safe combination. Okay, so the safe combination is probably gonna be... Hello! Okay, so are we saying that if we look at the moon, we can see what we actually need to see and possibly that Whatever we're seeing here, you're taking a very long time to walk to the door. And whatever we're seeing here is... Oh, I get chills every single time anything happens. Okay. 
So we have to look at possibly the moon to make ourselves not crazy. Okay, I'm all right with that. Okay, so we have a thing. Uh, small dial. We have a small dial. Yes. And we'll use it. Oh, we have to line the picture. Um, that looks right. There we go. Ah! There we go. Okay. What's this? Small wooden knob. Interesting. We could open doors with that. Looks like Josie stuff. Linen's books. There's gotta be something else. There we go. Dear Diary, today Bull Dr. Buller and I built a chassis for his new weather device. It's weird and un uh, as usual. I don't really get what we're building, why we're building it, but Dr. Buller doesn't explain things. Tomorrow I need to go buy some bottles for the base. Today was Mama's birthday. She would have been 59, 54. I bet she would have liked the work I'm doing now. Hope she's proud somewhere. I had the nightmare again last night. He's been, it's been over a year since I last had it, but it never changes. I've written about it over and over, but the writing seems to help, so I'm telling you about it again. Uh, I'm five years old in our apartment in Chicago. It's dark, I've gotten out of bed, some water, but I hear something coming from Mama's room. I peek in and see a tall man standing over. He has his hands around her neck. He's breathing hard and the cold night air as I can see his breath. His streams out of his, it streams out of his mouth like smoke and seems to cover her. This, there isn't any breath coming from Mama. She's already dead, but he continues to squeeze. When I was a kid, I thought the dream would go away when I grew up. It hasn't. Okay, that's weird. Is there something that... Uh, rats the safe, the safe combination isn't here. I'm pretty sure I saw a drawer with a missing knob. Downstairs. Oh, good. Ugh. All right, well, episode two looks like it's coming along pretty, pretty good. It's, oh my gosh, it's very enjoyable. I don't know what I will do next. So, uh, well, obviously, we know we got to go downstairs, grab the knob, and... Do all the fun stuff. But we'll save that for the next episode. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you like this video, then I want you to jump on a boat and crash that boat right in the like button. And while you're there, if you'd like, subscribe. That'd be awesome. And I will see you in the next video. God bless. See ya. I heard that. I heard that. Anybody out here? Hello? Okay, so we gotta walk up to that package, and then... I didn't wire you there! Who are you? Is that woodcutter? Oh, ouch. I don't like that. Uh, you can't open it with your bare hands. Um, be great. Can we open? Oh, I don't trust this game anymore. It gets all quiet. Yes, I get it. Please, can I...